Good morning and welcome to the decision session for the executive member for environment and climate change. I'm the person that holds that position and my name is Paula Widdison, councillor for the Lib Dems. We've got a very interesting agenda this morning, lots of new things to talk about, but working through the um, agenda, actually before we start on the agenda, Sean, would you like to introduce yourself so that other people who are, are watching us know who you are? Yeah, thank you, Councillor. My name's Sean Gibbons. I'm Head of Carbon Reduction at City of York Council. Thank you. OK, so first off, declarations of interest, none that I'm aware of. Um, second point, the minutes from the last meeting. They're fine. I've checked them through, so I'm happy to sign them off. Third item on the agenda, public participation. I think everybody's getting ready for Christmas, so they're all out shopping and wrapping their presents, and there are no public participants at this meeting. So, moving swiftly on, uh, the first item of business is the York Climate Commission. Sean, would you like to introduce that? Uh, I will, thank you. Uh, so this report proposes the creation of York Climate Commission and requests the executive member to approve establishment of the commission. City of York Council recognises that the ambition of making York carbon neutral by 2030 cannot be delivered by a single, single organisation. It will only be achieved with citywide collaboration, shared ownership and our pooled expertise. The establishment of an independent climate commission for York will provide leadership, expertise and action to deliver the transformative change required to meet our carbon reduction goal. Membership of the Commission is open to individuals representing key organisations from the public, private and civic sectors across the city who can contribute to the delivery of a low carbon York. The Commission will produce an annual report monitoring delivery and evaluating progress across the city. Uh, it should be noted that there are two amendments to the document uh, from recommendations made by the Climate Change Policy and Scrutiny Committee, both uh, in point 17 and the ways of working, which reads... The Commission will be chaired by the Executive Member for Environment and Climate Change for an initial period of 12 months from formation, at which point the Chair will be appointed from amongst the other Commission members with the Executive Member for Environment and Climate Change taking up the role of co-chair. This will be updated to reflect, the fact, to reflect the fact that the initial period of the Chair will not exceed 12 months from formation and that they will then subsequently take up the role of Vice-Chair. Many thanks. And I thought that the um, scrutiny committee uh, meeting went extremely well, was extremely positive and had absolute cross party support. Anything else to add, Sean? No, nope, that's everything. OK, well, I'm delighted that we've got the York Climate Commission underway. Um, shows how fleet of foot we are and how up to date we are and also how we will borrow steal whatever phrase you wish to call the best examples and the best processes from other areas just for information for anybody watching it's taken Leeds over four years to establish their climate commission it took edinburgh over three years to establish theirs we've done ours in about five six months with cross-party support as i've said and with buy-in from all the major players in the business areas that we need to make the real difference in. So I'm delighted to see that that's going ahead. No more comments on that. So therefore, we'll move on to the fifth item on our agenda, which is the York Community Woodland Delivery Pathway. Yeah. Uh, so the report on the York Community Woodland outlines a proposed delivery pathway for the creation of a new multifunctional amenity uh, woodland for York, currently referred to as York Community Woodland, and requests that the executive member note the progress made to date and appro approve the project documentation consisting of uh, the project initiation document, the project delivery plan, the engagement framework and strategy, and the communications plan. This pathway provides a realistic timetable for the creation of a new community woodland in York, which will achieve the objectives of increasing amenity green space, providing new areas for physical activity to improve health and well-being, planting 50,000 trees to contribute towards our carbon neutral ambition, improve local air quality and reduce flood risk, create opportunities for new commercial opportunity uh, activity, providing new employment 
volunteering and green skills opportunities, deliver the new woodland at lowest cost to the council by utilising public grants and private sector investment, and embedding community and stakeholder participation in the design, delivery and ongoing maintenance of the woodland. There is just nothing to not like about this project. In such a bleak year, how fantastic that the City Council have got 154 acres of arable land. We're getting it changed into woodland, not complete woodland, but so that we can, we can all use it. I'm only aware of one other project in the UK that's similar in size. We're going to get government funding to do significant amounts of the work. We have so many interested residents and experts that are going to help us deliver this. It is just fabulous. The, you know, given how lousy everybody's year has been, hopefully we can get everybody involved in this project and we can start to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Fabulous for the trees, fabulous for our health, fabulous for our leisure facilities and fabulous for the environment. It doesn't get any better. So, Sean, I am delighted to see this report through. And when I'm, you know, pushing up the daisies, hopefully it'll start to be in its full full bloom of a, of a woodland. It's gonna be fantastic. Fabulous. So I have, I have nothing more to say on that, but applaud your efforts. And again, the speed at which we're moving, which is fantastic. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay, uh, well, the final item on our agenda is urgent business. I am unaware of any urgent business. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for those at home. Have a fabulous Christmas and let's make sure, hopefully 2021 has got to be better than where we've all been. So thank you ever so much for your participation. See you in the new year. Confirmed live stream is now.